Hello, I'm Christina with The Turned Leg, and recently I've opened up a new area in my booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan. And if you want to see a tour when I first opened it up, you can check out the video here. My space is larger, and the response for my new booth space has been amazing. So I am so grateful. But that means I'm selling things, and a lot of things. So I'm in search. In fact, this is a project behind me working on uh, restoring a tabletop so I can get it into my booth space because I need to get all the pieces in as quick as I can. Today, join me as I go thrifting. The first place that I visited was kind of like a last minute, well, I'm passing by, I might as well stop. And I was so happy that I did. I made a last minute stop by one of my favorite thrift stores and I decided to turn on the camera because I was finding a lot of good items, including these brass candlesticks. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find a list of everything I found and what I paid for them. I'm also a sucker for a vintage planner. This was a good price, but unfortunately the gold had worn off in quite a few sections. More candlesticks too. These were handmade pottery. I even spotted these little picture frames. Now, because I have a booth at an antique mall, I use these for advertising, for sales, for signage, and they work great. I didn't pick these up because I already have quite a few, but if you have a booth, this might be something you might want to pick up. And you never know what you're going to find at a thrift store. I found some cool bags. Some of them had some older light switch plate covers. I sell these in my booth but the bag prices were kind of high. Time to check out linens. I saw a lot of good but new items. There were a few afghans, kind of pricey. They had a lot of vintage patterns, but they were $7.17 a bag, which I thought was kind of high. I'm really amazed by how much prices have just jumped up in my area. I also spotted a really cool wood tray set, but I couldn't for the life of me figure out why there were two tiny plates and one big plate. If anyone can help me out, comment down below. And then I spotted the most amazing treasure in the wild at the thrift store. There was a chip, but I decided I was still taking this piece for me. I have big plans for it. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out what I do when I save planters that I can't resell. One new development at my thrift store I'm kind of excited about is plate sets are now being sold as sets and not individually. Now it's going to be even cheaper to buy full dish sets. was also very lucky that I got there right as they were stocking the shelves. I love to check the carts and usually if you're really polite they'll let you peek in. I found some really good treasures right out of the cart. They also had quite a bit of furniture including the yellow ottoman that I brought home with me. As the week went on and things were selling in my booth I know I needed more items so now I getting a little bit more official with my thrifting adventure. I thought I would visit a place I've never been to before. I decided to check out the Presbyterian thrift shop in Plymouth, Michigan. I had just never been there and I'd heard a lot of good things. And I have to say, I was amazed by what I discovered. When you first walk in, it's a little disorienting to the newbies because you're not really sure where to go and what to do. And there's so many items, but they do a great job of organizing and the staff is so friendly and there are multiple floors just filled with good things. If you live nearby, I really think you should check this place out. There was a lot of people there. There were a lot of items already sold. And I think there's a lot of great things that you could get for your home and even to resell. I like this little chair. It had a sign saying it was a little unsteady, but it was still a really cool piece. 
Let me just say the organization is amazing here. Everything is broken into little rooms. And one of my favorite rooms of all was the man cave where there were tools and so much more. There was even a volunteer in there sharpening up the tools and getting everything ready to sell and to price. Lots of great tools and items here if you're looking for something special. And I soon realized I wasn't even in the front of the store. The front of the store almost looks like a gift shop. Very well organized. These were all the salt and pepper shakers. They were $4 a set. And the glassware and dishes were just amazing. Everything is so organized. And here they organize by color. Also had some beautiful music boxes. Most were around $6. Now at this point, I figured I had seen pretty much everything. And then a volunteer told me, oh, don't forget to go upstairs. Besides going upstairs, there were also two more rooms I hadn't visited. But upstairs was quite amazing. There is a seasonal area with tons of Christmas. And every part is something different. They have like cookie jars in one area and the kitchenware and then the decorations. Just so much to see and the upstairs just keeps going on and on. I was keeping my eyes open for vintage Christmas. I did not see very much. There were some beautiful vintage nativity sets, but they were similar in price to what I would be charging in my booth. And after Christmas land, there was still more to see. Thank goodness it was so organized. This was like the office area. They also had craft things. They had bathroom items. There were linens, and their prices were quite good on their linens. Do you remember the commercial on TV? But wait, there's more. In the back of the upstairs, they had sectioned areas for each holiday. They had Easter, they had fall, they had Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day. They also had their technology section. Everything was tested and prices were reasonable. But my favorite sign of all was this one. Don't you wish every thrift store felt this way? And if you could believe it, there was still more. When I went back downstairs, I had rooms I hadn't gone in. Kitchen, tons of kitchenware, appliances, antiques, vintage clothing, and just so much to see.
If you've never been to the Presbyterian Thrift Shop, it is definitely worth a visit. Please keep in mind, though, it will be busy, but it's totally worth checking out what their current treasures are. On my way home from the thrift store, I stopped by my booth and I discovered good news. An item had sold, but that meant that I also needed, once again, more things to fill my space. I quickly moved some items back in place and I decided I would check out another thrift store I had never been to before. I stopped in the Family and Friends thrift store in Flat Rock, Michigan and wanted to check the place out. This is a really nice small thrift store. It has a wide selection of items. There are vintage items and prices are all over the place. Just kind of depends on when you come and what you find. I did find some special treasures. Nothing for me to resell, but some nice items for my home. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see what I discovered. I love the presentation with the mismatched vintage dishes here. They were at reasonable prices and they put them all in one spot. There were a lot of cool things to look through. And you know I'm a sucker for vintage dishes. They even had a section all set up for outdoor gear and camping. It was a fun place and definitely worth the visit. Are you ready to see all of the items that I picked up while I was thrifting? I have to say I am just grateful nowadays to find items at good prices. It's getting harder and harder to find. Loved this little blue dish. USA, always a good pottery piece. And I couldn't believe this tray. I sell these all the time and they get harder and harder to find. Even though this one was not a vintage piece, it will look great in my space. And of course you saw the brass candlesticks. I don't know what it is, but candlesticks always sell well for me. Small is good. And this was before Easter, so this bunny was popped into my booth and did sell quite quickly. I'm also picking up off-season Christmas items when I spot them. I love saving pottery. These were signed. And I couldn't pass up this vintage ottoman with the great pop of color. Adds a lot to my space. I also picked up this pillow. It's a nice neutral color at a great price. And these picture frames were great because of course they were beautiful, but I added a little rice paper to the frames and now people have instant home decor. If you're interested in purchasing any of the rice paper, I do sell it on my website at shoptheturnedleg.com. And I really don't think Pyrex ever goes out of style. Any color, anything unique has been selling. I'm also looking for, you know, anything that makes a person smile. Smiley face mugs have always been a good seller for me too. But I'm still amazed by my biggest treasure, which was the Roseville pottery piece. I know this has a chip, but I've never seen such a beautiful piece at a thrift store for such a good price. And I am going to use it to store my paintbrushes. And at the Family and Friends thrift store, I picked up two vintage rugs. This is one of them. It is wool, and I got it for only $20. Thank you guys so much for watching. Curious to know what your favorite item I thrifted was, or if I missed anything really good. Prices are just still very high, but I guess prices are high for everything nowadays. So we just have to get a little bit more creative. Hello, it's editing Christina from the future. I just want to tell you while editing this video, some of it was taped before I got sick and that was quite apparent to me while I was editing. I do want to thank you all for your well wishes and for understanding one thing I did learn while being out for Easter and then sick. 
is that the world doesn't stop revolving and sometimes you need a little rest. I have been a YouTuber for a while now and it seems like every time I do something like, oh, I gotta film. It was actually nice to just work on getting better and my goal for this channel is to just make good content for you and not always have to feel like I have to be filming everything. So if you see more breaks in the future, I'm going to take them and give myself grace when I need them. Uh, if you have ideas for things that you want me to talk about or more videos or more topics you love, make sure to comment down below. I'll be reading through all of those. I also will be having an update on my booth and how things are going. And if you really enjoy all of the booth owner tips and tricks, just want to remind you and invite you that I do have a private paid Facebook membership group. And I go live in the group every week with tips and tricks. And so you won't miss a thing if you're in the group. For more information, I'll put it all in the description box below. But thank you guys again so much for all of your support and all of your sweet get well wishes. Now get out there to salvage, repurpose, and create.